And tonight, staffers at the Elm City's largest hotel are now into day two of their strike. And Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland has the details not only on what they are asking for, but also who they are picking up support from. You can hear the drumming, the chanting. It's been pretty much nonstop. Roughly 120 workers at New Haven's Omni Hotel on strike, joining thousands of other hotel workers demanding a better contract and increased wages. We've been fighting for so long. We are hard workers. We deserve better wages, better pay. A banquet server and bartender, Waleska Santiago, says she's worked at New Haven's Omni Hotel for nearly 20 years, but now she and her co workers are on strike. <laughs> These members of Local 217 unite here, demanding a better contract when it comes to pay, pension, and health care. This is what we have to do to get what we want. I love my job. I come to work every day, you know, and I give them very good service when I come to work. So they should give me good service back. Negotiating since November, these striking workers include everything from housekeepers, front desk staff, bartenders, servers, cooks, and kitchen staff, along with engineers. Stopping by to lend support, Governor Ned Lamont shaking hands with those on the picket line, and U.S. Senator Chris Murphy, who even joined them. These Omni hotels are owned by a guy who's worth so much money that he could afford to pay the men and women who clean up this hotel enough so that they can afford rent here in New Haven. In a statement, Omni Hotels and Resorts tells Eyewitness News, out of respect for all parties, Omni won't comment on the status of the negotiations, except to say that we remain committed to bargaining in good faith to reach a contract agreeable to all parties. But until then, these striking workers feel they're getting their point across with hotel management. They're hearing us. They are, yeah, definitely. They've been out through the windows, through the doors. They're paying attention. They are. If push comes to come, we're going to be out here a little bit longer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But we would like to come to an agreement. We, I mean, we need this for our families, for ourselves. The Omni says it will continue to provide uninterrupted service to its guests. Meanwhile, these striking workers say they'll be out here for as long as they need to be. Reporting in New Haven, Matt McFarland, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.